Big shout out to Eduardo for inviting us to what they call a block party, which in effect is a carnival rehearsal, but they call it a block party because it's everyone from the neighborhood, from the block, sort of practicing for their big show, where you can imagine that they will be on a float driving down the middle of the road and playing music for what I understand to be tens of thousands of people. So it was only a rehearsal, but it felt like a performance to me because there's some really contagious positivity when people are playing live music, but not only playing, they're sort of singing, smiling, dancing while they're playing. Oh, there's some sort of contagious energy yeah. that is distinctly Brazilian and very intoxicating in the best of ways. So absolutely five stars to all of the performers who, like I said, we're only practicing, but for me it was a great <laughs> performance. Great, yeah. So we've come from the block party, uh, carnival rehearsal, to a street party. So on this particular episode of our Belo Horizonte, by the way, you don't pronounce the H. Belo Horizonte. Um, on this particular episode, we will be soaking up the fun from block party to street party. It smells so good. There's food everywhere. I'm not sure what we'll get up to today, but I'm sure it will be fun and delicious. I cannot read. Muito bom. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, hello, hello. Wow, well, I'm impressed by the market here. It's actually pretty big. It's massive. Yeah. It's full of people. Look they they this. call this place the hippie market. Uh huh. Uh, I guess because a lot of handmade jewelry, handmade right. items, right. turquoise and tie dye. Mm -hmm. But I think the crowd here is more than just hippies because yeah. there can't be this many hippies in Belo Horizonte. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all sort of crowds, here. young and old, families, couples, Everything singles, in between. everyone. Let's check out this market, guys. Let's see, maybe I'll buy something. É a bosta aí, a bosta de primeira, olha a bosta aí, a bosta. É cocô de primeira qualidade, ó. Tudo para agradar seu amigo oculto. É bosta, é bosta, é bosta. Vamos dar uma olhada na bosta fresquinha, bosta de primeira. Olha a bosta aí, é bosta, é bosta. You hungry? Food that intentionally looks like it's food. poop. I think it's food. Or, or it's decoration, I don't know. Poop? Poop. Everyone's laughing. Muy dobar, muy dobar. I can honestly say I've never seen that before. It was poop with cockroaches on it. Oh, it looks real too. It looks real. Yeah, it looks real. Wow, look at this lady. Just I'll tell you what, showed out to street performers. This is not an easy job. It takes creativity and dedication and She's doing a heck of a job. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can't stop thinking about that guy selling poop. That's the best business model I've ever seen. Fresh poop, five bucks. Brilliant business My model. My goodness. You know, I like how all these towels, they have prices already, so you know how much things cost. So you don't need to haggle. Yeah, true. This one, it's five years each. Very cool. Is it fun for you? Because I see mostly stuff for women's on sale. I was gonna say it's handbags and jewelry. <laughs> yeah. And shoes. Yeah. Still, still a fun atmosphere. <laughs> it's cool. I'm enjoying this. Oh, look at this. We're just gonna go on the side street because I hear music and screaming and oh, capoeira. like a dance and a fight and they're kind of improvising as they go. I'll yeah. pretend to hit you, you pretend to hit me. We should uh, take a class in Bahia. This should be fun to learn, yeah. yeah. It takes real skill and real athleticism. Right, right. It's like uh, exercise and performance, simultaneous. Quite a bomb. Capoeira has evolved into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> By the way, how do you paint something like this? I mean, it's so good. Whether you're on a crane or you're hanging off a cable from the top, how do you see the image of what you're painting? You almost need your friend on the ground, like where I am, on a video call, showing you the whole image so you can see what you're looking at because what an incredible, <laughs> what a beautiful street view with the market in the foreground. Wow, really great market. And look at this. Uh, handmade bird's nest, like a decoration. Oh, coconut. It's from coconut. Oh, good, good guy, Ivana. It's a coconut shell. Coconut. coconut shell turned into bird's, bird's nest. nest yeah. Dude, creative and awesome. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Five star street market. Yeah. Really impressed. Ivana, are you thinking what I'm thinking? New dress for me? Nah, new dress for you. Or even over here too. Yeah, let's look around. There's like, it goes on and on and on and on. It's so big, this market. You're right about that. Oh, it's so, it's huge. Wow, it's let's, like an exercise walking from one end to the other end. True so fact. Let's explore and see if we can find something. Hey, everybody, if you're Brazilian, let me know where this design comes from. It almost looks Romanian. Like an Ia or Ea. Very sort of European. Very beautiful. Wow. What the bomb? I always like Ivana when you dress in bright colors. You look so beautiful. Well, also, you look beautiful in black. Or also white. I just think you're beautiful all the time, Ivana. My eyes is like. Uh huh. They're like, oh my gosh. Uh huh. I can't choose, they're all beautiful. You're gonna need the chiropractor from uh, your, your next swivel and back and forth. Muito bom, Ivana. Oh, muito beliz. Muito belo. I think you've come to the most popular store here. Yes. This must have all the good designs, Ivana. Well, we have gone all around and I went here the first time and this is still my favorite one. It's true, we have checked every shop yes, in the market. That's true. <laughs> uh, sorry, you speak English? Yes. Uh, how much is this? Uh, 55. 55. Alright everybody, vote in the comments. Does Ivana look like a 10 out of 10 or an 11 out of 10 right now? Muy bom. Good job, Ivana. I tell you what, guys. Ivana has a bit of trouble spending money on herself. She, she is naturally selfless. So I've been encouraging her to treat herself. You're worth it, Ivana. 
You're worth it, Ivana. <laughs> this is better than a mall, I think. True fact. <laughs> yeah, it's so much more fun to shop here. <laughs> By the way, I see all the women here, not all, but most women dress in dresses. They're so like girly, they dress up to go out on a Sunday morning. True. So I decided to buy a dress. To fit in. Yes. It's quite different style from Rio. Yeah, in Rio it's more sporty, casual. Here it's more like... Rio, the ladies outfits is like a bathing suit. Even the clothes <laughs> is like a bathing suit. Bikini is everywhere, yeah. The shoulders showing, the stomach showing, the legs showing. Right. Even their, okay. even their outfit is like a bathing suit. Sorry, okay. let's go. No problem. Yes. Uh, that's right. Okay, thank you. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank you, bye bye. Okay. All right, there you have it, guys. I tell you what. I was also nervous to shop here because normally people don't speak English. But I'm glad she spoke English. I think Biaga is the English capital of Brazil. Yes. That's my guess. Uh, Got a song? Um. E Credit to the um, uh, Figaro Confidence. Uh, 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 Muito bom. Obrigado. Okay, first thing is ready. Curaçao on a stick. I took the liberty of loading up the farofa <laughs> and smooshing it right in there. Uh, beef liver coming next. <laughs> All right, presenting liver and onions, which by the way, which by the way, I don't even remember ever trying liver in my life. But I'm sure I don't like it, which makes no sense. But um, ugh, here we go, liver and onions. This has been highly recommended by you guys. Yeah. Figaro con gelo. Which, by the way, isn't the word for onion cebola? Shouldn't it be gelato con cebola? No, gelo is this. Oh, liver and zucchini. Uh, yeah, it looks like zucchini, but people are saying it's eggplant. It's oh, like eggplant. Green eggplant. Okay, muy right. bon. The gelo is bitter. It's like a bitter, bitter gourd. Oh, bitter melon. Yeah, it tastes like bitter melon. Oh my gosh. Wow. I feel like liver and onions is the food your parents make you eat when you're being punished. Why do I have such a bad impression of liver? Because it's organ. An organ in your head just like sound not good. But let's try it. It looks like meat, actually. It looks like meat. All right, first bite. Liver, onion, eggplant, farofa. Wow, not bad. But you got that texture. Livery texture. Very creamy. Not bad. Very mushy. So, they put a whole bunch of sauce. The flavor is good. Yeah. I think the flavor of the sauce is to hide the liver flavor, honestly. <laughs> the thing is what you said, Ivana. The texture is like, it gets in your teeth. Yeah, mushy, creamy. Mm. And it's, the, the jello is like bitter gourd, right? Yeah. Bitter melon, it's bitter, wow. They call it eggplant, but it's a bit more like what I would call bitter melon, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's a type of eggplant. Know. Do you like it? I don't dislike it, but it just, it, uh, liver is not my favorite. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, liver is not my favorite. I think it's good for you though. Probably. Mm. Mm. It's good, but I still like my corazón better. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Corazón, five stars. This one, Woo! four 
and a half. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Woo! Liver baby. The only trouble is, we got enough here for about six people. <laughs> I was just gonna order for one person and said, no, no, it's enough for two. <laughs> Muy bon. bon. Good experience here. Yo, I'm so impressed it. with this market. Yeah. When I heard hippie market, I thought there's gonna be 25 people. You know what I mean? <laughs> no way. Some simple, it's small market. Huge! And Massive. there are like sections for shoes, jewelry, dresses, baby stuff. The food section is food court. There are two of them here and on the other side. Uh -huh. It's huge and it's packed. I love it. And by the way, five star croissant. Oh yeah, very good. I love it. And listen, this food is so highly recommended. Uh -huh. Yvonne and I will try to begin liking it. You, you kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of don't like it. The texture, it's, uh, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect the eggplant to be bitter. And then the liver, I kind of know the taste of liver, kind of mushy. Yeah. Kind of got that pasty uh, texture. Uh. Uh, but all together, it's like a good combo. It balances out together. Listen, like I said before, people who can eat anything, uh -huh. to me, it's like a superpower. <laughs> I do not have this power, but I'm working on it. Right. You guys know when, good. when we started vlogging, I didn't like tomatoes, I didn't like eggplant, I didn't like anything from the ocean, I didn't like mushrooms. The list goes on. The fact that you like this, this is amazing. Corazon, yeah. Four years ago, I wouldn't even try this. Yeah. People say, "Oh, chicken heart." No thanks. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm gonna try my best to like liver. Woo! Listen, I think the organs are better for you than the meat itself, in terms of for your health. Yeah. Susan. More nutritious. When a pack of wolves hunts an animal, the leader of the pack gets the liver. Oh, really? The liver is the most oh. nutritious. It's for the, it's for the strength. Okay, Steve, this is for your strength. Oh, God. Hit it. Okay, muito bom. Very good.